Did you know that King Solomon, yes, that one, the son of King David, was one of the wisest and wealthiest man in the history of humanity? You may wonder, what was the secret behind his remarkable prosperity? The answer lies on a series of principles that Solomon adhered to, which are still accessible to us today. However, one of these codes has been discreetly preserved within the pages of the Bible, but today is your lucky day because this video will help you to harness this knowledge to unlock a world of wealth and prosperity, among other desires you wish to manifest. Here's the thing. Wealth isn't just about having a ton of cash. It's way deeper. It's all about what it means to you, on a personal level. And by unlocking Solomon's code, you're connecting to an endless source that brings not just money, but true fulfillment. These secrets are all about manifestation, maintenance, and overflow. That's the real deal of lasting prosperity. So, stick around until the end, and you'll discover the three secret codes that propelled King Solomon to unimaginable wealth and wisdom. But this isn't just a history lesson. It's a roadmap for you to manifest abundance in your life. By the time you finish watching, you'll not only understand the profound wisdom of Solomon, but also gain practical insights on how to apply these principles in your own journey. Before we dive in, hit that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with valuable content like this. All right, let's get started. Now we all know Solomon, the son of King David, was incredibly wealthy and wise. But what was the secret behind his immense fortune? The truth is, Solomon didn't just stumble upon his riches. He accessed three fundamental codes that propelled him to success. And guess what? You can access them too. Number one. The first code, wisdom to govern. There's a story in the Bible where Solomon uh, is dreaming. He goes into dream state and God comes to him in dream state. And he says, God says to Solomon, anything that you want, I will give you. If you want wealth, I'll give you wealth. I'll make you the richest man. If you want kingdoms, I'll give you the kingdoms. Tell me whatever it is that you want and I'll give it to you. And Solomon didn't ask for riches, didn't ask for kingdoms. He asked for one thing, he said, give me wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. After that, the riches came, the kingdoms came, and every other thing that comes with it. So as I read that, I sat there and I was like, God, give me wisdom and allow me to be a person that makes decisions, not out of spontaneity, not out of reactiveness or out of emotion, but out of a state of mind in which I can be wise. The first code Solomon tapped into was wisdom. Picture this. God appears to Solomon in a dream, essentially offering him a blank check for anything he desires. Instead of requesting vast riches or worldly possessions, Solomon makes a remarkably insightful choice. He requests wisdom and knowledge, not for personal gain, but to effectively lead and govern his nation. Solomon, despite being the heir to King David and possessing immense wealth, acknowledges that mere riches aren't enough to sustain a kingdom. In the book of Proverbs, he eloquently expresses how much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver. This showcases a profound understanding that true prosperity goes beyond material wealth. It requires the ability to discern, make wise decisions, and govern with benevolence. Consider this, a ruler, no matter how affluent, cannot ensure the prosperity and longevity of their kingdom solely through wealth. Wisdom becomes the cornerstone, the guiding light that illuminates the path to sustainable prosperity. Solomon recognized that to maintain, multiply, and manifest wealth, discernment and astute governance were indispensable. This wisdom didn't just enhance his personal fortune, but also contributed to the well-being of his people, solidifying his legacy as one of history's wisest and wealthiest individuals. So, the first code, wisdom to govern, isn't just about acquiring knowledge. It's about using that wisdom to navigate the complexities of leadership, ensuring not only personal success, but also the prosperity of an entire kingdom. As we unravel Solomon's story, remember that accessing this code requires a continuous pursuit of wisdom and discernment an unwavering commitment to making decisions that resonate with the greater good. Now let's move on to the second code and explore how taking action plays a pivotal role in unlocking the doors to prosperity. Winners do the opposite. The moment they are self-aware that something is wrong, something is incongruent in their life, and they're like, I need to make this change, winners literally start taking action that moment. Number two, the second code, taking action. 
Now, wisdom alone isn't enough. Solomon's second code was about taking action. Let's dissect how diligence and proactive engagement played a pivotal role in shaping his wealth. Imagine that Solomon, armed with the wisdom he sought from God, didn't rest on his laurels. He understood that acquiring wisdom wasn't an endpoint, but a catalyst for action. It's easy to envision Solomon not as a passive recipient of divine knowledge, but as an active participant in his own destiny. Consider this analogy. You can have the most detailed map, but unless you embark on the journey, you won't reach your destination. Similarly, Solomon recognized that knowledge alone doesn't guarantee success. It's the diligent hands, actively working towards goals, that turn wisdom into tangible outcomes. Solomon's life exemplifies the age-old adage, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Proverbs 10 says, A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Translation, lazy will make you poor, and you work, and you'll have money. Diligence is excellence over time. Continued excellence. Not one moment of excellence, but continued excellence. In ordinary things, that's called diligence, and by the way, that makes one rich. The second code emphasizes the importance of utilizing acquired wisdom to its full potential. It challenges us to question whether Solomon merely received a divine download of wisdom or if he actively seized opportunities, demonstrating that taking possession of wisdom requires tangible efforts. In the modern context, this code encourages us to bridge the gap between knowledge and action. It's not enough to accumulate wisdom, we must apply it. Imagine reading a book on investment strategies. Its value lies not in the words, but in how you implement those strategies in real life. So as we unravel the layers of Solomon's story, remember that the second code underscores the transformative power of taking action. Whether it's pursuing a career, starting a business, or implementing newfound wisdom, diligent hands are the bridge between knowledge and prosperity. Now let's dive into the final code, an almost imperceptible element intertwined with honor, gratitude, and sincerity. Number three, the third code, the one hidden in the Bible honor, gratitude, and sincerity. Lastly, Solomon's third code was all about honor, gratitude, and sincerity. While material wealth is a significant aspect, Solomon's story teaches us that a genuine connection with the divine involves more than just accumulating riches. In the narrative, we find Solomon expressing his love for the Lord by adhering to the decrees of his father David and offering sacrifices and incense in sacred places. Here, the focus isn't solely on the physical acts of sacrifice, but on the underlying principles of honor and gratitude. Solomon's sincerity is evident when, in a dream, God presents him with an open-ended offer, and Solomon responds with humility and acknowledgement of God's continued kindness to his father David. Solomon's journey unveils a profound truth. A grateful and sincere heart is not only a prerequisite for spiritual alignment, but also a catalyst for abundance. It's about recognizing the source of your blessings and expressing gratitude not necessarily through traditional rituals, but through sincere acknowledgement of the interconnectedness with a higher power. Consider this as an invitation to infuse your pursuits with honor and gratitude. Solomon, by offering a thousand burnt offerings in a sacred place, symbolizes a heart overflowing with gratitude. In the contemporary context, this doesn't mean replicating ancient practices, but embodying the essence, acknowledging the interconnectedness of your journey and expressing gratitude sincerely. As we absorb the wisdom from Solomon's third code, let's contemplate the power of a grateful and sincere heart. It goes beyond material manifestation. It's a conduit to the infinite source where answers and solutions reside. So let your journey be adorned with honor, gratitude, and sincerity, for they are the keys to unlocking not only material wealth, but a harmonious connection with the divine. With these three codes, wisdom, action, and sincerity, Solomon's legacy becomes a timeless guide to true prosperity. We're revealing three ancient codes that promise prosperity. The Wisdom Principle. First up, the Wisdom Principle. Solomon didn't just ask for wealth, he sought wisdom. And with wisdom came unparalleled riches. Embrace learning and decision-making to unlock your wealth. The Abundance Mindset. Next, the Abundance Mindset. Solomon believed in limitless resources. Shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. There's enough for everyone, and your share is waiting. The Generosity Key. Lastly, the Generosity Key. Solomon was known for his generous spirit, which in turn 
turn attracted more wealth. Be generous and watch the universe pay it back tenfold. Apply these three codes in your life and start your journey to everlasting riches. Wisdom to govern, action to manifest, and gratitude to connect with the divine. These codes hold the key to unlocking abundance in your life. So remember, wealth isn't just about material possessions. It's about embodying these principles and aligning yourself with the universal flow of prosperity. I hope you found today's video insightful. If you resonated with the wisdom of Solomon, drop a comment below and let me know which code resonated with you the most. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay wise, stay grateful, and stay abundant.